welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews. I'm Judith and you are watching another reading vlog here on the channel. This is reading vlog 25, I believe, I think. Uh, does that mean next week is halfway through? The Let's not think about it. We are on week three of my book a day in June reading challenge. It is the 14th today as I am filming this and I have just finished book 15. I did no reading over the weekend whatsoever. It was blissful. It is very warm in the UK at the moment. Very, very warm. I appreciate it. it's not as warm as other places, but we have no AC, so shh. So I didn't do much reading. I did a little bit of filming. I did a bit of editing. I did a lot of spending time with my friend drinking Prosecco and having strawberries in the garden. That was very pleasant. And yes, then I got to today and I started to panic that I hadn't finished a book yet. So I did put some time into finishing a book and I finished Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This is absolutely fantastic. I just read this in, I want to say like, Collectively, I've been reading it in my breaks, uh, so it's probably taken me about two hours. So not a slow paced read, for sure. Um, this is the YA I love. Like, I find myself getting into a point every so often where I'm like, maybe I just don't like YA anymore. Maybe I've outgrown it is a really obnoxious term, but maybe I'm just not in that place anymore and I need to sort of start saying goodbye to the YA I don't want to carry. And then I pick something like this up and I'm like, no, I still like YA. I still like it a lot. It just needs to be special and this is very special. This features a boy called, excuse my accent, Yadriel, who um, is a trans boy and his family don't fully accept him so he can't become a brujo but then he sort of does the ritual anyway because screw them and essentially ends up, this is him, uh, he ends up bringing the spirit of uh, this, this lovely boy, Julian, back from the dead and they have to investigate what's happened to him and what's going on uh, and it's just lovely and basically everything I want in the world oh it's just fantastic um if you take one book from me this year to read at the moment it would be Cemetery Boys if you haven't read it already just saying uh other things I want to get to this week I've had my fan off for approximately five minutes and I'm already getting so warm so we will speed through this I would like to read Redemption in Indigo by Karen Lord this is an Angela recommendation I have started this as you can see I am just at the start of chapter five which tends to be around about the fifth mark just anecdotally. Not much to say on this one yet, still kind of discovering it, but enjoying it. A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking by T. Kingfisher. This is another young witch with powers. I believe her powers are related to bread. That her, her familiar is a Sado starter and her magic only works on bread. I'm excited for this. I'm gonna eat bread. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna have a good time. The other physical book I have this week is Bound in Silver by Josie Jeffrey. Book three in the Solace Invicti series. Enjoying it. Read the first two over the last two weeks. Continuing on with that. So that's exciting. I didn't get to Animorphs 23 last week, so that is still on my list for this week. Little Thieves by Margaret Owen and Half a Soul by is Olivia Atwater, something like that. But the covers will be up. I'm going to read those as well. Those are my digitals. It is very warm. I would like to carry on with my day, so I shall speak to you when I next finish a book. It is I, local pirate wench, me. Um, hello, happy Tuesday. Welcome, uh, day two of the vlog. Ah, I think I'd already talked about finishing Cemetery Boys. I then surprised myself by finishing Bounded Silver. Wasn't expecting to. Uh, I got about kind of 20% of the way through and then I just kept reading it. I really enjoyed this one. It's probably the bleakest, they're all fairly bleak. This is like the most kind of genuinely not, not pleasant read of all of them. I have to say, don't agree with most of the decisions this main character makes, Emmy. Don't, don't particularly appreciate her rationalization of things. Feels like she puts uh, priorities in a bad order for me anyway but that's like the situation she's in it's a paranormal romancy book i can i have to let it go um but the actual like broad story i'm enjoying i'm having a good time with it uh temptation to pick up the fourth one straight away very strong so if you are planning on reading this series have the fourth one on deck um i'm not going to though i'm being very well behaved uh, and instead reading the other things i'm about 40 percent of the way through redemption in indigo this is really picking up the introduction like the scene setting stuff is very interesting but I'm liking it more and more as we get into the story. It's very um, different which is something I enjoy. Like something you would tell aloud which I think is probably intentional. Don't have much to say on it though. Uh, and the other thing I've started is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. This I'm very much enjoying as well. Little fae fantasy romance regency stuff. Yes here for it. Uh, having another good week. Oh yeah, ah, oh, ah, oh, I think I should talk about, I just hit a thousand subscribers. I'm currently sitting on a thousand and four. It will probably have gone down by the time this vlog goes up. I'm okay with it. I'll live. Uh, but yeah, a thousand subscribers. Ah, this is very exciting. It's been something I really wanted to manage this year and I was pretty sure I could do it, but I'm very pleased to have got it in this week where other nice stuff has been happening as well. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much for doing so. It genuinely does make me feel loved and appreciated. I haven't actually worked out what I want to do to kind of commemorate the moment, celebrate 
have a little chat um, yet. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, I am very open to them, serious or silly. But yes, uh, I have to get back to work because time waits for no woman. Um, so I shall speak to you when I next finish a book. It will probably be Redemption in Indigo, but future Judith can tell you bye. Hello and welcome back to another thrilling instalment of It's Hot, the vlog where I tell you that it's hot, complain about how hot it is, and then tell you what I've been reading. How are we doing? It's very warm here in the UK. How are you? I'm okay. I am wearing my, my least warm clothing, given that I primarily own things in quite heavy wool. That's an interesting experience. I have finished a book, however, since we last spoke. In fact, I finished two. Uh, I finished Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater, and it was just delightful. A lovely little romance. Why don't I read romance more often? That's what I want to know. It was so nice just knowing that, broadly speaking, not that much bad was going to happen to people. Yes, people were in the workhouses. It was broadly acknowledging that things are bad for some people, but for our main characters, Oh, I had a good time. I very much enjoyed it. Another excellent Asha recommendation, as ever. If you aren't already following Asha, you are doing yourself a disservice. And then today I finished Redemption in Indigo by Karen Lord. I didn't love this as much as I thought I was going to, so Angela, if you're here, just skip on ahead. By the time I put the book cover down, it'll all be... I'll, I'll be done talking about it. Um, I liked it, though, just before you go. I liked it. I just didn't find it as engaging as I was maybe expecting to. Like, I found myself drifting in and out of it a fair bit, which I think... I don't think that was intentional, but I think it's fully just, I, I've been reading a lot of very linear books and this is more talking around a subject and then going into the plot again and then coming out again. And maybe my brain wasn't quite synced up for that. On the one hand, I'm going like, I didn't really love this. Maybe this won't stay on my shelf for too long. I am gonna give it a second chance later in the year when I, I'm more in the mood for that kind of thing, but it has been read. And I didn't think it was bad by any means. It just was one of those things where I went in being like, yeah, time for a great time. And then I left being like, I don't know. So, left we have Wizard's Guide to Defense of Bacon, haven't started it yet, and Animorphs, and Little Thieves, which I also haven't started and it is the longest book on my list for this week. Never mind. But having said that, Katie has gone back into the office because one of the fun things about our house is when it's hot the internet doesn't work, which is quite important when you work from home, and for Katie even more so. So she's gone back to the office, so I am on my own until she's back, which I haven't been for pretty much a year. Uh, over a year, in fact. So that's fun. Let's see how long it takes for me to descend into madness. But if I don't descend into madness, then I've got some time to do some reading. So I'm gonna get on. Cool. Hello, happy Thursday. If the lighting's weird, it's gone very funny outside. I think we're due for rain. Never mind. Uh, I'm on my own again, day two of being the myself. I'm fine, I think. Mostly fine. It's been a long time since I've been by myself. But I have finished a book. I finished A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking. This is fantastic. Um, I don't know where you would categorise this because T. Kingfisher is the author's adult fiction name and it's quite dark, but the main character is 14. I think you could read this if you enjoyed YA. I think you could read this if you enjoy a sort of quite cosy adult. That's that's kind of the sweet spot of it. It's really lovely. Uh, main character is a wizard with a very specific remit. She does stuff to do with baking. She like, does bread. Her familiar is a sourdough starter called Bob. It's just fantastic. The book opens with her discovering a dead body in the bakery and it goes from there. And this was everything I wanted it to be. It perfectly hit the tone. It wonderfully had a wonderful trajectory as a story. Just great. Loved it definitely would recommend. I have also read the first 20 or so pages of Little Thieves and actually I'm enjoying that much more than I thought I was going to because uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit kind of like meh but actually I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think that the opening kind of like thievery scene has set the tone very well so I'm excited to see where it goes from there. Not much else to report, too hot to keep vlogging, going to go now, bye. Hello, happy Friday. Um, I don't have a huge amount of reading stuff to talk about but I do have a bit of an unboxing for you and it's a bit of an unboxing with a twist. I am 20% of the way through Little Thieves and I'm continuing to very much enjoy it. It is very good. I have absolutely no idea where it's going to go, how it's going to resolve or even indeed if I'm going to finish it before the end of this vlog but by the by, having a good time with it. But I have here this box that might or might not be in focus, which are handmade scissors that were purchased for me by my mum for my birthday, or by my parents, I should say. And I'm gonna open them and I'm excited about it. These are completely handmade. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Oh, okay, so they're made in Sheffield and you get a little certificate of authenticity. They're acting upon the advice of the Cutlery and Silverware Association. Thank you, Mayor of Sheffield. Uh, and um, some artisanal 
uh, silica gel there. Um, but look, please focus on these and not on my face. There. Look, aren't they cool? Like these are completely made by actual people in an actual place where they make things. Little thread snips. They are so cute. Um, one of the things that I am, I'm gonna put these down because I'm just holding up a weapon. One of the things that I suck at most in sewing is remembering to trim my threads while I'm going and potentially having beautiful handcrafted, wonderful scissors will make me do that. But I might also just put them on display because they're so cool. Right. Um, <laughs> Tomorrow Judith will be back to close this out. I just wanted to come on quickly and tell you about my new scissors. What can I say? Hi, happy Saturday. Uh, I am just about to go to the library to return the library books that I took out at the beginning of the year, maybe? Maybe longer than that? Mm. Let's not question it. They aren't overdue. I finished Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Um, I actually really enjoyed this. It gave me sort of similar feeling in, I guess, tone slash writing, mm, tone's not the right word, like, the vibes, I'm gonna just say the vibes, of Prison Healer in that it was really easy to read and really engaging. But unlike the Prison Healer, I enjoyed it much more. It didn't go to a weird dark place and I got very confused about the prison dynamics. No, this was excellent. One of the things I really loved about it is it was casually queer in just the best way in that it acknowledged there were still prejudices around, but it wrote queer characters into a world in a way that made sense. So for example, we meet a character uh, and another character's like, how are we going to refer to you during this meeting? And they just say, from now, you can call me they. And I was like, casual gender fluidity, loving it. Uh, and some other bits and bobs, which I will get into when I talk about it in a full review, because dang it, it deserves a full review and it's not out till later in the year, so I have time to do it. Whew. But yeah, I had a really good time with it. A lot of wins this week. I was editing the vlog yesterday uh, and just like going, oh yeah, Sandwich Boys was really good. Oh yeah, Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking was really good. Little Thieves was really good. But I'm gonna try and try and try and try to do Animorphs this weekend so I don't have to carry it into a third reading vlog because that would be very depressing. Anyway, let me know what have you been up to? What have you been reading this week? I would love to know, are any of these on your TBRs reading lists? Have you read them? Do you have strong opinions? Do you have less than strong opinions? I want to hear it. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It makes me feel loved and appreciated. You can follow me on all of my social media. That's linked below. Come join us on Discord. We have a good time. That's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's got a piece of bloopers now. Hello, welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews. I am, I said that weirdly. Felt weird. I then surprised myself. I then surprised them. Oh, I don't know whether to tell you my news or not. I think I'm gonna wait till next week. Sorry. So I shall make this very quick. I finished Half a Soul. Nope, that's not what it is. What's with me this morning? That's what happens when I try and vlog without coffee. I finished. <laughs> What's it called?